Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. And I just finished my day job and now I'm going to a friend's house to see about a pond. He said it's a bit overgrown. He doesn't know if the filter will work. He's a fellow musician, he's a drummer. I play keyboards, piano, he plays drummer. We're both uh, teachers at a music school, so I'm gonna go check it out. This'll be fun. It was pouring rain, and in my head, that would kind of like make it easier. Everything will be wet and moist and easy to remove in case it was like hard and crusty. It's the second day I've tried to get over there. The first day he got called into work. Today he called and said it's pouring rain. I'm like, I'm still okay. Is that thunder? I think I'm still okay. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll be able to record some of it, at least see what it looks like before and after. Um, I'm pretty excited. I've never, I'm pretty excited. Let's go take a look. So here's his pond, it holds water. It just needs to be cleaned out. And over here is the pump. I'm really hoping that this pump works because I am so stoked right now. I'll be right back. Oh my God, this is a mess. Hey, everybody, Susie Q. I already did an intro. I got the pond cleaned out the best I could. Let me show you. So I was able to pull out all of this muck. That's about four inches high, actually. And that's about two inches high. And all this muck was inside there, okay. So I pulled it out with the baskets. I couldn't videotape because it was still raining. So I put my pump siphon inside this basket and there was so much muck, I had to put it inside this basket and I just kept unclogging it as I went. So I scrubbed the sides and walls and I lost my sponge because I was gonna get the rest of this out before putting water in. I'm gonna keep looking. I just wanted to do it up. <laughs> I just want to do an update. So I'm going to get, see if I can find my sponge and where could it have gone? I'm the only one here. <laughs> I'll keep looking. So that's what I pumped out. I'd say 90%. John uses it for his salt water. So I brought some goodies. This was to kneel on so I could just, this, this is Jack's, that's not mine. That's part of Jack's pump. I brought those baskets and something to kneel on. I brought water conditioner floaty device. I didn't know what I was going to need. I brought gloves, but it was way beyond gloves. Zip ties, water tester. So I'm filling it up now. Let's keep going. I brought some pine plants. I don't know if they're still going to be alive. They're outside all day. Out of the water. So I added some foxtail, pennywort, um, creeping Jenny. That quick. The tank is settling. I put some substrate down. Got some floating plants, a bulb, some kind of bulb something. Hopefully this is enough floating plants, so we'll see. And I'm leaving him a floating basket so he can get some more aquatic plants. It's got water conditioner in there. So I'm going to tell him just get 10 times more plants than you do fish. I think he's going to go get some feeder fish from the store. I found his pump and put it in there, but it's a very powerful pump and I think it would be enough to do a waterfall here. So I'll let him play with that. But I'm hoping he likes it when he comes home for work. I still, I couldn't get rid of this because I don't have a bag. But I'm very happy. Hopefully I'll get him hooked into uh, fish again. Oh my gosh, I feel like a fish pusher, like a... <laughs> At least you wouldn't get hooked into fish. Yeah. So here's what it looked like about a half hour after I was done cleaning, after I was done filling it up anyway. Um, it's still a little mucky, but not so bad. So I brought some more plants over the next day. It looks like the pond settled in really nice. It's pretty clear.